So I found this $5 poly bag with the new Batmobile. We're gonna look at that. We're gonna look at the other ones that I've got. I think I'm missing two. So here's the new one. You can see it raised up in the back. It compares well. I'll grab the other Batmobile that came out, the minifigure scale one for 30 bucks. We'll look at those two side by side. But right now we'll look at these different Batmobiles. I don't really care for that one. I never really cared for it at all before, but it was only five bucks when I found it in a poly bag. And being a Batman collector of stuff, I wasn't gonna pass it up. You have our little flame engine on the back. My favorite by far, I think my favorite Batmobile in general is the Tumbler. So when I found this one, I ended up getting this on BrickLink. I think I only paid like $7 for it. It was five new. Pretty cool. Got the big tires. Comparatively big for a poly bag set. Look at the bottom of that one. We'll look at that. You can see the little flames. Used to be the old knight helmet uh, feather pieces in a trans blue color. Being a classic castle collector, <laughs> that's what that's the first time I've ever seen them in a trans color other than orange or red when they were trying to represent fire. So I guess you're still representing fire in this sense, just hotter fire. There's the bottom of this one. Oh, we'll move back a little bit. You can see my city and farm a little bit in the background. I just didn't want to, I've got some other stuff set up where I usually film and I didn't want to move it all, but I did want to do this video and get it out there so people can see it and see the comparisons. Now, I don't know what this one goes for now. All of them, even both of those, you're gonna get them. It's probably gonna cost you 10 bucks to get them after shipping only because shipping is gonna cost three to five bucks. But what you're actually paying for the set, probably six to seven. So if you can find some other stuff to bundle with it to help offset the shipping and justify buying some other stuff, to make these sets more realistically valued, go for it. I found another little tiny, I call that tiny, half the size of this tumbler on Rebrickable. I might even build that. I think it's only half the size of this. It uses frying pans as the back tires that are the large tire. Those are considered the large tires. So you can imagine yeah, basically the inside of that is how big the tires are. So I'm going to find the pieces for that. It's only like 30 pieces. But even like this, this poly bag set's only 68. So <laughs> here's our instruction manual. Little foldable thing. Has anybody ever win on that? Has anybody ever even entered those? That's a good question. Never, never tried. Maybe I should try just to see if I win something. Uh, maybe I ought to just look up on YouTube or something and see if anybody's done a video of them actually winning. That'd be something. Huh. Anyway, there's my Batmobiles. We'll look at a top-down view. The Batman. Have you seen the movie? I haven't yet. I'll probably buy it when it comes out. So I almost forgot, I did forget, so we're gonna add this to it. Our comparison side by side, five bucks, 30 bucks, the Batman. Oh, didn't mean to bump the camera. My Batman there, put that back on. Now I'm gonna have to move his hand. Oh, and the stud shooter goes off, that's great. We're doing great here. Well, not stud shooter, the bar shooters. What do you guys think? Pretty good comparison, I think. I can see why they didn't add the blue flames to the side. You probably could have put a blue stud there, but I wonder if that would have represented well enough to understand what the blue stud was for if you didn't have this as a comparison. What do you think? Anyway, this time, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.